welcome back to Explore Bio. If you are a college student who is planning to enter the dimension of research, you must know what research papers are and how to read them to make best use of them. I myself is a researcher and I too read and write research papers. Therefore, I know the importance of reading them and want to help the students develop a scientific and research aptitude. In this video, I will share some of the most useful tips that will help you read research paper easily and more efficiently. Today you will learn what a research paper is, benefits of reading it, how and where to search research papers, components of a research paper and finally some of the tips on reading research paper to get most out of it. So I insist you to do watch this video till the end. Let's begin with what a research paper is. Research paper is a citable document of any observation, experiment, hypothesis which is supported by logic or results and are often reviewed critically before being published. You might think why to read a research paper? What are the benefits of reading research paper? So let me tell you that apart from completing your assignments and writing your thesis, the major benefits of reading research paper includes it improves your knowledge and keeps you updated with the latest advancements happening in the science. It improves your scientific vocabulary. It develops a scientific aptitude in you. Good papers have been published after rigorous review by competitive scientists and professors. Hence the information is more authentic. Previous paper may form basis for new research that you might do. You learn about the techniques and methods others are following. You may discuss your findings and compare them with the previously done research of others. You learn how to scientifically write a paper on your own, how to make figures, tables and cite the references. There are thousands and thousands of research papers already existing in the online journal databases and for efficient searching two things are crucial. First what you are looking for and second where to look it for. So first let's talk about what you are looking for. You must be very specific while searching a topic. Suppose you want to search for research on how the sound waves affect plants. So rather than just looking everything about sound or everything about plants, narrow down the search and choose specific keywords which are close to what you actually need. You may add another filter such as publication year, journal name or the author name. This way you will narrow down your search result to get the more specific papers. Next comes where to look it for. I know most of the students and researchers do is just google it. But google returns a lot of data and most of it is not authenticated research. I always recommend you to read good papers that are peer reviewed and cited in index journals. Here are the few search engines that one can use to search the research articles. Google Scholar. PubMed, Science Direct, Biomed Central, etc. If you have never seen a research paper before, try downloading it and have a look at it once. When you look at the research paper, following components may be seen. First the journal name in which it is published. Next comes the publication date. Next is the title, usually a line or two that tells what the paper is all about. Then comes the list of authors. All the researchers who have contributed in the current research papers are listed here. Affiliation, it tells where the authors belonged during their research. Abstract or summary provides a brief overview of complete paper including their motive and key research outcomes. The next comes introduction, here you will find the background information about the research, previously done work in the area, knowledge gap or the existing challenges which led to the current research. At the last paragraph of the introduction, glimpse of what the current paper is about is given. The next section is the material and method section, which tells you how actual experiments were done, what materials, samples, chemicals and software were used, what methods or techniques were followed. Next is the result section. In this section you will see the detailed result of the experiments that were conducted. Relevant figures and tables are also included. Under discussion, the results of the study are compared with the previously related work. How and why such results are obtained, what the results signify, etc. are discussed under the discussion. Conclusion, where the outcomes of the research is briefly summarized in few sentences. 
the next section is references all the papers referred by this research articles whether it is mentioned in the introduction methods or the discussion is cited and details of all those papers are provided in the reference section acknowledgements here funding agencies and people are acknowledged for their contribution in providing facilities funds material or any such help author and their contribution this part tells who has done what in this research paper so now you know the parts of research paper how to download them and next you want to read it never start reading complete research paper at first it will take a lot of time and many of you don't have that time or patience you may find you have wasted a lot of time reading a research paper that was not at all useful for you the better way to read a research paper is to follow the following sequence check the title first just by looking at the title you get broad idea if the paper is useful to you or not next read the abstract summary and conclusion of the paper this section gives the overview about the whole paper what they did what were the major findings it would hardly take around 5 minutes to go through these sections if you find something interesting in the abstract summary or the conclusion of the paper you can start reading introduction it will develop your background about the topic and what are the previous relevant researches that has been done while reading the introduction you will note that every previous study the paper is referring to has been given citation for it this can be extremely helpful for you you can find more relevant paper if you want to learn more about this topic by going through those references next you can read the result in the discussion section check the figures and tables to understand the results better this way you can reduce the number of papers you actually have to read so that you can have a deeper and more sincere look at the whole paper next you can check what are the materials and the methods they follow for their experiment if you find it difficult reading a paper slow down while reading or take a print out use pencil or highlighter to mark the important points note down key points on a piece of paper find a quiet place an appropriate time that suits you to read and keep patience at first you may need to read one paper multiple times but after reading few papers your speed and efficiency will improve if you still find difficult understanding a particular portion you can definitely seek the help of your seniors professors or other scientists i am sure this video would help you not only for reading research articles but books or any other study material too i hope after learning about multiple benefits of reading research papers and tips on how to read efficiently you will start reading research papers and do a great research if you want to learn how to write a research paper or how to choose a research topic i have made separate videos on each of them you may check the link in the description below for any research related queries please write in the comment section if you find this video helpful please share with your friends this might help them too